Hey, what's up everyone? In this video, we're taking a look at the Saucony Triumph 18. Hey, what's up everyone and welcome back to 40 Runs. Now, if this is your first time at 40 Runs, I want you to smash that pink button down there that says subscribe on it. Go to our Facebook page and join the 40 Runs running community and check out the description. There's loads of cool things, including a link to where you can get this, which is basically a hotel for your feet. Right guys, so here it is, the Triumph 18. This super cushioned, super comfortable, uh, like I said, hotel for your feet uh, has just been updated. Now the Triumph 18, uh, the Triumph 17, sorry, uh, check out the review. I did that, I think it was last year of that shoe, um, where I sort of, not complained, but I made a very sort of bold statement in terms of, I think there's actually too much going on in this shoe. But that's for me. Now I actually think if you're after a really cushioned, comfortable, um, sort of soft, lovely place to be while you're out doing your runs. As a daily trainer, this is definitely something to look at. Uh, let's get into some of the stats and some of the features first though, before I get on to say whether I prefer this new update version versus the old one. Now this shoe is 145 pounds here in the UK, which is quite expensive, but it's in line with the Brooks uh, Glycerine 18, which I think is probably its biggest competitor. Uh, the shoe has increased weight. It's gone up to 11.1 ounces versus 10.8 for its predecessor. So it's got a little bit fatter, and I think that's a lot of it to do with the outsole where they've got rid of uh, the crystal rubber and they've added this sort of blown rubber on the outsole. Uh, you've got the Power Run Plus midsole carried over from the 17, but they've added some new geometry to it, uh, which is trying to make it a little bit more snappy, but well, we'll get onto that in a minute. Uh, you've got 32 and a half mil in the heel and 24 and a half mil in the uh, forefoot. So you've got an eight mil drop and you've got this again mesh engineered up you've got a little bit of structure here you've got the same sort of laces you have in the ride 13 and that is about it so where do we start okay so the triumph 18 like i said a second ago is, is very comparable to the glycerine 18 and we'll do a uh, versus video of those because i think it'd be quite cool uh this is kind of heavy uh, for me, um, I don't necessarily like a too heavy a shoe for my long runs. They seem to have reduced a little bit of the real estate in the heel. Maybe I'm wrong, but they seem to have transferred it to the tongue. This is like the world's thickest tongue on a road shoe that I've ever seen. It is really thick, but this, this is deliberate, I think, from Socrates. They have tried to create an area, a space here, that is super soft and super comfortable. And like I said at the start, like a hotel for your feet. They want you to get in this, relax and enjoy your running. And I think they've done that very well. The fit is true to size. Um, Socony for me do come up a pinch narrow, but actually this fits true to size. I'm a UK nine and a half, and this has come in bang in line with what I'd expect from a Socony. Um, the outsole, let's say they've got rid of like the crystallized rubber on the outsole um, and they've replaced it with this blown rubber which will add, I think, some more longevity uh, to the shoe, which is good because you want this shoe to be able to go for miles and miles and miles, and I think it will do that. The Power Run Plus uh, midsole is great. Uh, as I said a second ago, they played around there, apparently with the geometry to make it a little bit more snappy. I didn't notice that. To me, it just, again, just felt soft and sort of slow. Uh, which again, this is not a fast shoe, right? So that's not a bad thing. Um, but the whole ride just felt comfortable and a little bit boring, uh, to be honest with you. So is this sort of shoe something that's gonna ignite your runs and get you sort of kicking along and, and feeling awesome when you're out there? No. Is this shoe gonna be able to eat up miles and just get you through the distance? Yes, and do it comfortably? Yes. And I think that's the key sort of takeaway from this shoe. 
If you're looking for something that's a little bit faster, a little bit racier, a little bit lighter, this is not something to go for. But if you want a shoe that is gonna eat up miles and you're gonna do it in a very comfortable way, then maybe have a look at it. I do feel like, personally, the Rye 13 is a better option to this because there's just so much foam in the shoe and I don't necessarily think you need that. Um, it is breathable, but it's not as breathable as some of the other shoes out there, like the Brooks is, I think, much more breathable than this. But the overall feel of the shoe does do what you'd want. Is it a massive change to the 17? Not really. I think you could pick up the 17 cheaper and maybe it will do exactly the same job. So it's kind of left me a little bit, mm, which is what the 17 did. So I don't know, Sockany, I don't know. I think you guys are absolutely nailing it this year. And I mean, absolutely killing it. But I just think the Triumph 18 is a, I don't know, it's just a bit of a nothing shoe now, really, to be honest with you, compared to the other shoes that they've got in their lineup. And, and that's a, a compliment to Saucony. They've done amazing things this year with their shoes. And what they've ended up doing is making one of their sort of popular, everyday, daily, daily comfortable shoes sort of pale into insignificance. And I think it's a real shame, but it's true. I think you go out and get the speed, go and get the right 13. I think you'll get a much better value for money uh, versus the Triumph 18.